Exome sequencing has given me a way to test for single gene conditions when I don't know which gene I want to look at. In the past, we used to send test after test after test for years on end, one gene at a time, and that would add up not only in cost, but how that impacts families. I had a patient this week that I have followed for, gosh, I think about 12 years. And uh, she had had chromosomes done, she had had um, array testing done, she had probably four or five single gene testing over the years. She, her case had been reviewed by internationally known geneticists and they had conflicting ideas about what her syndrome was. Um, and uh, we sent exome sequencing and got the results this past week. And she actually has two disorders, which is my first patient like that had a couple of families um, seen here at our hospital by different geneticists. Both families had a son with intractable seizures and um, severe developmental delays. And we had done exhaustive workups on these children, including chromosome testing, skin biopsies, MRIs, uh, numerous laboratory tests and metabolic tests. And finally, exome sequencing showed genetic changes um, in both families, the same gene. And for those families, we were able to provide them with an answer. And even though it was such a rare condition and um, little was known about it, we were able to connect them with each other. We were able to finally tell them the cause of their children's seizures. And we were able to provide them with genetic counseling. In the case of the family that I followed, the change was new. So we knew that his other family members wouldn't be at risk of having a child with the same condition. His parents weren't at greatly increased risk of having a child with the same condition. And that was so reassuring for the family. They want to know what their future lies. They need to plan for their child and for their family. And it makes a big difference if they have that answer. But they also learn from one another. They learn what one neurologist did or what another neurologist did. And then that will encourage the research community to be more involved with those children with rare disorders because the research physicians want to understand how those genes function and by looking at patients with disorders then they have a better idea. They're always trying to understand is my child getting worse because their seizures are recalcitrant or is my child getting worse because they have an underlying disorder where they have neurocognitive decline or is my child never going to gain skills? Does my child have severe cognitive impairment and will she learn to walk or talk? You know, will he go to school and be able to interact with their environment in a productive fashion? I think for these families, trying to understand that prognosis is so important. When we get an answer for a family that has been through many visits, many tests, it's really rewarding. We know that their journey of looking for a diagnosis is finally over. I mean, one of the things about Western medicine is every place you go, they want to know what you have, right? So it stops that diagnostic odyssey. It stops more testing. It stops more MRIs. It stops muscle biopsies. It, it stops us moving on with more and more invasive testing to children. They finally have a new way of thinking about what their child has been through and what their family has been through. And the answer to us is a really powerful thing. We immediately call the families and let them know, and then we invite them back in. We invite them back in to share the information that we have with them, and we share it with their primary care physician as well as their consulting physician so that everybody's empowered with the diagnosis. In the NICU we often will see um, very fragile, very ill patients and some of these very fragile, very ill patients uh, clearly have a genetic condition and we may have very limited time in which to make a diagnosis. With exome sequencing now, we've been able to have a much better chance to diagnose these children and to provide counseling and answers for their families. And we hope that with more widespread use in the NICU, we will be able to guide management of patients who do survive by having an earlier diagnosis. It used to be that in order to diagnose a rare disorder, you had to go to a center of excellence for that particular rare disorder or you had to go to uh, a center where they see children with rare undiagnosed diseases. You know, exome sequencing being available to geneticists throughout the country, then we have access to those tools as well, and we can provide those diagnoses for our, our patients locally. And it's really powerful.